Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna go over the claw by Weed the People Holsters. Let's get into it. All right, so before we really get into it, I am gonna say this stuff was sent to me. Actually, everything right here was sent to me by Weed the People to make a video to share with y'all guys. So if you need to take what I say with a grain of salt, go ahead and take what I say with a grain of salt. But I have purchased these personally and used them on personally purchased holsters from We The People before they ever reached out to me and did anything either. So I have used these products before, I like them, now they wanted me to do a video on it. I'm perfectly fine with doing that because I can stand behind this, I do like this product. So anyway, let's move on. Again, if, I, if you have to take what I say with a grain of salt, go for it, do what you gotta do. All right, so let's get into this. So the claw, what does the claw really do? The claw is basically a little piece of plastic, all right, it's kind of angled out, and then you have different extensions, a bigger extension, a smaller extension that you can place on here, which in essence is attached kind of like this. And when worn inside the waistband, this claw, this piece here, pushes the gun, the butt of the gun basically, into you, which aids surprisingly well in concealability. Because if you know much about concealing a firearm, some of the hardest parts to hide is right here. This piece, the butt of the gun, is always sticking out of your shirt, right? It's make, it's, it's printing, that's what it's called, but it's printing, it's pushing on the inside of the shirt and creating a bulge, creating a protrusion, something that doesn't look quite natural to the symmetry of the body, does that make sense? I don't know, I'm not sure if those are big words that make any sense or not, but the claw basically pushes that butt of the pistol into you Right, not in an uncomfortable way, but it pushes it into you and it allows the, the firearm to kind of more curve to your body, which aids in concealability. That's in essence what it really does. And if you're trying to conceal a gun for whatever kind of legal reason, it's nice to actually have the gun concealed and not have stuff poking out and have people looking at you weird like you got something weird going on. So anyway, moving on, we're gonna talk about kind of how to install this really quickly. This is very very quick, it's not very hard. Um, they, their instruction card that they send doesn't even have any words on it, but it's kind of dummy proof. It's kind of stinking simple. So we're gonna go over this real quick. I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit so you can kind of focus more on what's going on right here. And I'm just gonna install it on this holster, which is for a Glock 19, 17, take your flavor, your, your 40s and your nine millimeter with a TLR7A um, light on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna modify this holster a little bit with the claw and then I'll show you what it looks like but let, let's 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 look at the the process of how we put it all together all right so what comes with your claw is basically the claw itself this piece of plastic right kind of like I said before you've got a larger piece and you have a smaller piece so depending on how much you want the the claw to work how aggressively you want it to push into you depends on which one of these extension little pieces you have you also have this new little piece this weird looking piece right here, uh, another rubber grommet thingy, and this is gonna be used in getting your retention. And then you have your two screws and whatever these little Frisbee chainsaw looking pieces are called, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what it is and that's what comes with it. So going off the instructions that they have, we already went ahead and took off, this is what comes off of your holster, is another plastic little grommet thingy, and basically a female and male screws that are used to kind of clamp down and squish this guy like a pancake and squish right here. That's what they're for. So I took these off, it's just very simple. You should not need instructions on how to take out a screw. Uh, we're not gonna go there. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow these instructions pretty simply. You have this little piece that I said before, right? And it has a tall side and a short side. So the short side, we're gonna stick the little grommet thingy, whatever it's called on, the little plastic or rubber piece. It's not plastic, it's rubber, all right? And then we're going to take the tall piece and stick that through the top, which is gonna be like the outside portion, not the inside towards your body, but outside towards your belt portion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a screw and we're gonna put that in the back here and make sure everything is nice and snug. I would recommend getting to know your holster a little bit and then once you kind of have it set to where you like it, Loctite it, all right? You don't necessarily need to Loctite it right away because you might need more retention, less retention later, uh, but get it set up how you like it and then you're gonna Loctite it. But anything with screws on a holster, on a gun thing, put some Loctite on it, all right? So we got our screw in the back here, just kind of snug down a little bit. Then we're gonna take our little grommet piece thingy, whatever this is called. We're gonna place that down here, 
And that's gonna kind of, pretty much that's gonna help the claw not wanna move around. It kind of digs into the holster a little bit, digs into the back of this piece, and it kind of helps keep things from moving around. Now you're gonna wanna try to decide how uh, you want this thing adjusted, right? Because the, you, as you see, you have two different ride heights here and two different ride heights up here. You also have your ride height of your clip that's on your on your holster. I have this set up to where it runs with the holster a little bit high, right? That gives me more of a of a area to grab the gun, so it's not smashed down into my belt. I don't have to scoop down below my belt line to pull my gun out. Um, if you do run your holster that way, then you're just going to have to ride this guy a little bit lower or higher, depending on on, on where it's going to line up. But where I've got my clip set up, basically the best way that I have found to do it is I'm going to just place this over the bottom hole right here, put my screw in. Again, at the end of the day, when you get everything set up the way you like it, you're probably gonna wanna use some Loctite. Hold on, this thing's falling apart, here we go. All right, let's get everything all lined up. Get this guy on, kinda get it moved over a little bit. Actually, I was wrong. I was wrong, I'm doing it upside down. I'm gonna place this on with the hole on top, not the hole on the bottom. I was looking at it upside down, sorry about that. Kind of snug it down a little bit, make sure everything's in there. It's gonna have a little bit of play until you get it all, all the way screwed down. So make sure everything's how you like it, keep it straight, and then tighten it down. Now, this is Kydex and plastic stuff. You do not want to over tighten these things because you'll split the plastic. You don't want to do that. So getting it nice and snug should be all you would need to do, and that's why you would want to use some Loctite to make sure you get it done properly, okay? Now, if you look down this way, here you go, yeah, use it as a backstop. If you look down this way, you can see right in here, that's where your belt is gonna go. So your belt's gonna come over this way, and that's where you're gonna decide where, where you're gonna put the, we'll call this the talon of the claw, right? I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but if you can have this up higher, or you can have this down lower. For me, I think, for me personally, if I clip this guy in just like this on the lower one, okay, that's going to pretty much ride right in line with the middle of my belt, because my belt's gonna ride right in here and that's gonna be right in the middle. I don't really want it up on top, because I have had times where I've had claws and different things from other companies where that claw kind of pokes above the belt and then it doesn't do any good. Then it gets all weird and it just doesn't work very well. So you want this as close to the middle of your belt as you can get it so that you get full advantage of the belt pushing this part into you and pushing the the butt of the gun into you. So that's pretty much it. If if you if you didn't want this much depending on how much you need the gun to be pushed into you, right? If you have a longer grip, you're probably going to want a bigger piece. If you got a shorter grip, you probably don't you probably can get away with this, with the shorter piece. But depending on how much you want or how aggressively you want this claw to work and push into you, that's going to depend on if you want the short little piece or the long little piece. So now let's take a look at it with the gun in it. All right, so we're back up here. So here we go. So this is what it looks like um, completely installed without the Loctite. Again, I'm gonna run around with this a little bit and see you know, at what retention level I really like it and then I'll end up Loctiting it. Loctiting is very important. I have had things come off and that's not very fun, okay? So here we go, firing goes in. We wanna check for retention. Nice and snug, pops in there. If it falls out, you gotta tighten it up, right? Depending on how much, see, there you go. If I really snap it, you can see it's coming out. So I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit. To get your retention, you're gonna tighten the back screw, not the front screw. The front screw's the front, the top screw. The outside, which, I don't know, yeah, I know, interesting terms, I don't know. The outside screw, the screw facing your, your, your pants, your belt, whatever, that is for the claw. The inside facing your body, that's for your retention. I hope that made sense. That was probably super, super confusing, but we're gonna tighten that up just a little bit. Still a little bit more, because I like to have a nice retention. There we go. Kind of moved out a little bit, but that's got some positive, that's got some positive retention to it. So that is how this guy is set up. That's how it works. I do believe in this product. I have used it before with my own money. I've purchased it before with my own money. I've used it before I ever did anything with We The People. If you have it inside the waistband holster, I don't care what company you get it from, if you have an inside the waistband holster, if you're shopping for an inside the waistband holster, I cannot highly recommend enough to get 
some kind of a claw. We the People has a good one that works with their holsters. Not sure if it's gonna be compatible with any other holsters out there and stuff. These work, they do their job. Very simply, they push the butt of the gun into you. It's a very simple thing. It's been very overlooked by a lot of different companies. So that's the claw by We The People. Um, if you found this helpful, please let me know. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. Thanks again to We The People for sending this thing out. And I hope this, I hope this did help somebody. Stay away from holsters that don't have these things. And if you do have a holster and this works for it, go get one of these things, all right? Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next video.